Hey what's up you guys, it's Spartan and welcome back to Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. So for this campaign we will be starting off as one of the sons of a famous Viking king who was recently tortured and killed by the Roman Empire. So our main goal for this campaign will be to avenge the death of our father and destroy all of our enemies with a massive Viking army. So let's go ahead and begin our journey in our story of becoming the most feared Viking to ever live. All right, so here we are, boys. So Ivar the Boneless himself, as well as Bjorn Ironside protecting us behind us. So we will be starting off this campaign at war with every other faction in this world, including the Roman Empire and a Samurai Empire. So this will easily be one of the most difficult campaigns I have ever done. But let's go ahead and get straight into the life of a Viking. So we got Bjorn, Ironside, and all of the Ragnarsson's family. So let's go ahead and get out of this tavern and show you guys this world. Oh, I also wanted to mention there is a whole custom Viking troop tree I made just for this campaign. And okay, we need 15 gold per soldier. So I guess we have to do some arena fights. I don't know how this is going to work though. All right, just need a few kills until we can start getting some soldiers. Look at Ivar though. He looks really cool with a bow. This is what we really need to be doing. Yeah, just picking them off. Oh, we got five gold. That is almost enough for one soldier. All right, there he is. So we got Ivar the Boneless against his last opponent. This might actually work. If we win this, we can have a small army of soldiers right there. Maybe like five soldiers. Oh, I missed. Come on, that looked like it hit him. Yes, there we go. We just got to win this one fight. We suck at fighting at the moment, but we just got to win this one fight and we win this arena. Come on. Oh, there we go. We're victorious. Ivar the Boneless is victorious. Look at him, man. There's so many bodies. Congratulations, champion. So 250 gold pieces, man. Hell yeah. So now we can actually start recruiting some Vikings. So here we go. How many we got? Four Vikings. You know what? I'll take it. I'll take anything at this point. Oh, look at this. There's six barbarians running around outside. So we have six Viking recruits against six barbarians. So who is better? Let's go ahead and get straight into the first major battle of this series. So here they come, boys. So we got Ivar the Boneless as well as his small army of raiders so far. Recruits. They they definitely, I don't, I wouldn't call them raiders, but we got Vitserk and the Viking recruits led by Ivar the Boneless. So this is our small war party. And we're facing a, <laughs> look at this, a swarm of barbarians with some Roman gear they stole. But let's go ahead and get into this battle, boys. Oh, I missed right away. Come on, that's not a good sign. But we got to get a couple axe throws in here. We got to help our boys. We got to hold the shield wall, boys. Hold the shield wall. You guys are doing a good job. There we go. A couple stabs in. Vitzer got a kill. Nice job, Vitzer. Charge, boys. Start pushing up. Surround them. Yes, there we go. Nice job, boys. Oh, yes, man. Not a single casualty, too. Yeah, look at that. Our first victory, boys. Look at that, Vitzerk. Nice job. You got, like, two kills. And I don't think... Yeah, we didn't really take any injuries. And look at us, man. Ivar the Boneless. Our first victory and our first step to the world's complete domination. So we will destroy this world. So this will provide us with some more gold and equipment to start buying more Viking Raiders. Three kills for Ivar, one for Vitserk, and two for the Vikings. All right, 677 gold. That's not too bad. So we just got to run around, wait for Bjorn to be healed, and gather more soldiers. We're going to make a massive Viking raiding party, man. Oh, we're starving, though. Shoot, man, I forgot you had to feed your people. But we got some barbarians. Oh, they're free meat. I mean, uh, gold. Not me. I'm not going to eat you. Don't worry. Come back here. They're running into Roman territory. This seems like a really bad idea. We got to leave them. Okay, we need to attack this village right here. So force the peasants to give you supplies. Yes, we desperately need supplies. They have 100 defenders. Oh my god. Okay, that's not going to work. We're running out of morale, man. Maybe we can help with this raid. Yes, we can help with a raid. Oh, I would love to. We can help raid this village and hopefully we can get some supplies from it or something, man. Oh, we got one piece of wood. Are you serious, man? All right, that's not going to work. You know what? Screw it. We're going to this castle. So Ivar the Boneless is riding the siege tower up, and he will be the first one to jump on those walls, man. But look at that. Oh, man. All those veteran soldiers dead from big rocks being smashed on their balls. I mean, uh, big rocks being smashed on their head. Oh, man. All right, as long as we stay away... From where the rocks are hitting, we should be okay. But they are running to the walls, boys. They're running to breach the walls. 
Oh, we're fighting naked men? What the heck? It's just a bunch of naked men in here. Look at that. We're throwing a pilas. Look at that. He's taking so he took a spear to his chest, man. To his shoulder. Oh, there he goes. He's down. Oh, right to the stomach. So here we go. We're charging. Oh, spear in the head. Oh my god. We're doing really well. Ivar says charge. Kill these naked men. Yes, boys. Okay, I'm really slow though, so I gotta run here. But charge, men. Get in here. Get some free experience points. Oh, right in the side of the head. Oh, man. Oh, yes. Oh, don't even turn around. Yeah, there we go. Oh, my God. That is satisfying. These guys are easy to kill. Oh, wait. No, he's got armor. So the valiant last stand of the last of the barbarians. I'm going slow motion. Oh, that was a nice stab through his head. Look at this. Right in the arm. Whacked him in the head over there. This is beautiful, man. These guys are crazy cool looking. Oh, yes, man. Oh, Oh, he's getting bonked everywhere. There we go. So now we understand how siege battles work a little bit better. So that was our first siege battle with Ivar the Boneless. Oh, we got 10 kills total. That's not bad. So Vikings got 10 kills and we only lost one person permanently and Bjorn Ironside went down. But not before getting a kill though. So that's not bad. And we got 2% of the loot. And you know what? I'll take it, man. And well, we got some tribal pants. Look at that. Oh, they, he looks pretty cool, man. Ivar the Boneless and Tribal Pants. That's that's not too bad. Oh, we got more villagers. Come on, villagers. Are they slower than us, finally? Yeah, they're kind of slower. Yes, we're chasing them. Oh, we're going to catch up. Oh, no. They got lords over here. Wait, we got to turn around. All right, no, we'll go for the barbarians instead. But we have to go for someone, man. Mess with us, and we'll sell our lives dearly. Mess with us, and we'll sell our lives? What does that even mean? You're going you're gonna to take yourselves out or something if we attack you? But look at this. They actually have the power balance. So 26 Vikings against 31 Barbarians. We absolutely need the gold from this. But we'll attack and then we'll have to immediately start running from this giant war party of 100 Romans. Because they know we're in their territory. So look at this. Ivar the Boneless. The sunlight, the waterfall in the background, and a bridge battle. That is beautiful. So Ivar the Boneless and his 30 Viking warriors. Now with a little bit more experience after that siege battle. But we will be fighting... Oh, don't walk too far. <laughs> don't walk too far up, Ivar. But we will be fighting 30 barbarians on this bridge. And you know I definitely will be hiding in the back. But look at this, man. Let's try to get a kill from here. This would be crazy. Oh my god, that went like 10 feet. Okay, we'll wait for them. Look at them, man. 30 barbarians coming to fight us on the bridge. And I think they're talking back here. What are they doing? They're like turning around. They're thinking about retreating. Look at that. Yeah, he's retreating. But here they come, boys. They're attacking our shield wall. Our Viking shield wall. I trained you boys well, I think. Okay, not really, but we need to hold the shield wall. Look at this, man. This is going to be fun. Oh, I missed. All right, I got to help him somehow. Yeah, there we go. Stab him, boys. Stab him. I think we're doing well. We're losing soldiers. Hold the shield wall, boys. Keep stabbing into their sides. There we go. Oh, wait, I want a spear. Can I take a spear? Yeah, I'm going to take a spear. Oh, yeah, this feels way better. I've had the bonus with a spear. is just way better in a fight, man. But we are losing soldiers. No! Get away! Yeah, nice. Thank you. All right, let's go ahead and take control of Vitzerk. Because Vitzerk's definitely going to be way better than Ivar. So we are going to help... Oh, no, he's down oh, right away. All right, madman time. Oh, yes, this feels better. All right, hold on. You know what? Charge, boys. Ivar says charge. Get them from behind. Look at him. He's retreating. Yes, they retreat. They're cowards, man. So we are victorious. We just barely held that bridge, though. That was a very close battle. We lost so many good soldiers, too. And Vitzerk is also unconscious. Look at poor Vitzerk. Oh, my God. Poor dude, man. Oh, my God. They're still chasing him, man. They're chasing him all the way into the forest. I didn't want them to do that, but they're crazy, man. All right. So we are victorious on the bridge battle. And that should be a good amount of experience points for our soldiers. So we got 30 kills, and they took out 13 of us. So not too bad. Four upgrades, too. Oh, Viking Huntresses. Nice, man. So we finally got some ranged units we can use on the battlefield. But we are really injured, and they are coming for us, man. They are chasing Ivar the Boneless. Let's see. Can you cross there? You can cross there, but we got to run. We got to run faster, boys. Oh, oh, my God. They attacked the barbarians behind us. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, my God. We got away. Thank you, one single barbarian. You slowed them down by a lot, but we need to get out of here, man. Mess with us, and we'll sell our lives dearly. 
You got seven days worth of food, and we could probably recruit a pretty sizable army. Yeah, look at all these guys, man. So we can probably get up to about 90 recruits now. And they also got a tournament here that we could try our luck in. But look at all these Vikings, man. Look at all the Viking recruits. This is going to be a scary battle. All right, we got to help them as much as possible, man. Oh, no, they're... he's already down. Oh, no, man. Oh, I'm trying to survive. This is hard, man. It's a 2v1. Oh, I got one. Oh, he tried to fake me out. Oh, my God. We actually won that. I have the bonus covered in blood, but we won that 2v1. Ivar the Boneless, he's patiently waiting. Look at him. He's walking back and forth in anticipation. I'll split your skull. I'll split your skull. No, I'll split your skull. Oh, we both missed. Oh, that was sad. This is the final round, though. Oh, not even a chance, man. Not even a chance, Sturgeon. I am Ivar the Boneless, and you will remember me. And we are victorious. We got a little cap, and we got about a thousand more gold to use. And some renown, too. So now we're starting to get some attention, man, from the people. But let's go ahead and chase down these barbarians, man. Look at all these barbarians that are free kills. Eventually, we'll also get a lot of horses so we can chase down these caravans too because they keep running into the Sturgeon area. So it's a nice day for a shield wall, boys. Look at this. Our beautiful raven flags and everything, man. We got Vitzerk right here in the front lines, always itching for a fight, man. All right, here they come, boys. Oh, look, we got some throwing axes, right? We have some uh, raiders in here. We have a single Viking raider. See if you can get a shot off. Oh, I got whacked. <laughs> Come on, boys. So look at this. This looks really nice. Oh, right through the head, and he falls down the hill. Berserkers, go ahead. Get off to the side, boys. Ivar the Boneless. He never fails in his tactics, but we will trap him, boys. Do not let them escape. Oh, yes. Okay, we're just working on our tactics here, though. This is practice. So we got them squared in and just chopping them down. No! Come on, boys. And there we go. They cannot retreat. We go kill every single last one of them. Look at them. Last man fighting. He's fighting valorously, though. Look at that. He fought till the bitter end. But there we go. So Ivar the Boneless leading his men to victory. Trying to work on his tactics and slowly getting better. So that we can face harder opponents. But we are victorious. So we lost three of our Vikings and killed 16 Barbarians. All right, boys, so it's time to raid the Roman Empire again. So we should have enough. They have 66 defenders, and we have 59 soldiers. That should be more than enough to do this. Let's see. Can we... Oh, we can steal some of the recruits. Look, they got a Valkyrie. Oh, my gosh. Look at this Valkyrie. Yes, man. That is one of the best units in this entire game. You know what? We'll do a Valkyrie and a Raider. So it'll cost us 188 gold, and then we'll immediately turn around and attack them. So this will be our first major raid against the Romans. And the first step at avenging our father and destroying some of the Roman Empire. Line formation, boys. And we need to raid this village as fast as possible and in and out, boys. We can't let the Romans know what we're up to. So look at this. Ivar the Boneless and his army of raiders. We finally have enough to make a raider army. So they have a bunch of militia slaves fighting for the Romans to defend their village. As well as village archers. So this will be an interesting battle, man. But they have a bunch of archers that will be shooting us down if we're not careful. Oh, they're trying to flank us. Look at that. They're actually using tactics. So they're charging their infantry and their archers are flanking from the left side. Here they come. Oh, the first guy just got slaughtered. But here they are, boys. We got to hold behind this building and make sure we don't lose anyone to their archers. But if they decide to charge first, that is okay with me, man. Look at that. They're hitting us from both sides. They're flanking us. Yeah, there we go. We got a nice flank on the archers. They're shooting through the bushes into their sides. That's always nice to see. All right, charge infantry. Charge, boys. Yes, look at that berserker. We can take control of this mall dude right here, too. Oh, yes, man. This... Oh! Oh, the poor peasant. Oh, my God. This thing is satisfying. Oh, yes. It one-shots the peasants in the head. Take out the slaves, boys. They're just Romans. Oh, yes. Nice. Oh, yes, right. Throwing them right into the infantry lines. But now we got to push their archers, and they have a lot of archers. So we got to hide here, boys. Give them a sec, and then come out. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, man. Keep your shields up, boys. Madmen, stay in the back. We got to push up, boys. They're devastating, man. Their archers are devastating. Three peasants are escaping, and they're going to tell the Romans that we're here. So we need to make this fast, man. But 63 kills, and we lost 33 Vikings. 28 permanently. That's not good. But we got 11 prisoners. 
And, oh, we got some really good gear here, man. This is a lot of good gear we can sell. So we stole all the defender's gear, and now that village is completely defenseless for future raids. But we will have to heal up for a little bit. So, yeah, we'll have to heal up all of our brothers and get even more soldiers to join us for the next season. I've been looking for you. Oh, look at this. What is this dude talking about? So where is my brother? What happened? What happened to Uba? Calm down now. I'll tell you everything. We found your little brother and sister, but my former partner betrayed me. We came into his camp to negotiate the kid's release, and he seized us right then and there. So we need to defeat the Sea Raiders in order to save our brother. Everyone follow me, boys. We got Sea Raiders to take out. Look at them, man. There we go. Look at Yes, Radagas. Get that Sea Raider. Let's see who wins. Oh my god, that took him like an hour. All right, boys, start moving up. Let's go. <laughs> he looks so cool, man. Ivar the Boneless. So Ivar the Boneless is slowly making his way up. And what is he doing? He's not even looking at us. Look at this Sea Raider. How is he surviving? Look at this. We have so many hunters shooting at him, and he's still alive. I don't even think he has a single arrow in him. It must be his haircut, man. The haircut's good luck. Oh, oh, nice. Okay, we at least hit his shield. His hand's on fire, too. Look at that. This one Sea Raider has the luck of Odin on his side or something, man. Look, he's still not even looking at them. They're all going to fire in his back in a second. Oh my god, what? He's just looking at the arrows as they pass. He's like, what? What was that? Oh, where am I? They're so sad, man. Come on, you guys need to do better than that. All right, I'm doing point blank shooting now. So you guys need to hit this Sea Raider. You can't be that bad. Oh, we killed him. Oh, I didn't even know we killed him. No, I was gonna, I was gonna recruit him into my army. So we might have missed like every single shot against him, but we still have to clear out this place. And I don't have high hopes for us, man. I really don't. But Ivar himself, look at Ivar. He's got blood all over his face. So I'm going to leave my other brothers outside so I don't have to risk their lives. And we're going to save Uba. Look at this dude. This poor dude has no idea what's about to happen. Look at him. He's so funny, man. He's funny looking. But he's all alone drinking and talking to himself. So let's go ahead and finish him off. Oh, yes, right in the neck. And there he goes. He sees us. All right, aim at Radagas. Perfect. Yes, just sit there, Radagas. You're doing good. Oh, it just bounced off of him. Oh, what? He's a beast. It bounced off of him, and then he just slashed him down. Oh, this looks like it's it. He's probably in here. Here, we gotta be careful, though. We gotta do a little sneaking. All right, gotta sneak in. Where is he? Where is the last bandit? Oh, he's sleeping. Oh, get him while he's sleeping. Get him while he's sleeping. Oh, yes, man. Oh, that was awesome. I could have executed him in him sleep. There we go, boys. Yes, Ivar the Boneless has leveled up. And there we go. We are victorious. We have slaughtered him in his bed, man. Oh, no, it's a 1v1. Oh, no, this isn't going to be good. No, don't you challenge Ivar. <laughs> we don't stand a chance here, man. Oh, we get his men if we win. So if we beat him, we get all these Sea Raiders to join us. So very well. I will duel you. This might be really risky, but I'm going to go ahead and let... Ivar himself fight this. And I'm going to watch. Let's see how he does, man. Ivar, do something. Do something, Ivar. Ivar, do something. Oh, come on. The AI is supposed to be fighting. All right. Uh, okay. Um, Ivar, we'll, we'll take control. Don't worry. Okay, he does nothing to us, though. All right, so his weapon sucks compared to us. So we can probably just slaughter him here. There we go. Ivar, the boneless, is victorious. Look at our Vikings celebrating in the background. So we are victorious, boys. We have done it. And let's see. We got three kills. Bjorn Irons guy got two kills. And Radagas got three kills. So maybe we can, like, hire him as a Viking or something. But that wasn't too bad, man. That wasn't bad at all. And we got four more Sea Raiders to join us. Look at that Sea Raider Chief. He looks absolutely amazing. Look, we can still talk. I'll give you a pouch of silver. So you said talking was a waste of time. You are Radagas's property now. Oh, look at that. He's executed him. Let's go ahead and proceed. He gets his revenge, I man. Look at this. Great Evan. Damn, brother. I love you, brother. Oh, I love you too, Uba. Look at him. He looks amazing. So I am so glad you are safe. Is everyone okay? Yes, we are all fine. The little ones are scared, but fine. We need to be quick and get the hell out of this place. I'll take them to the nearest fortress immediately. They will be safe there. We need to go to the city and talk to our family and get every single one of our family members to join us in our crusades to avenge Ragnar. What is Vitzer doing? Look at this. We saved all of our brothers, but I think Vitzer has some damage, man. 
I think they damaged him. <laughs> what is he doing? He's looking at his hand. I believe he's still a good fighter, so he still should be helpful. Look at his face. Oh my god, what is wrong with our brothers, man? But all right, so we have Sigurd, we have Vidcirk, and we have Uba. So look at Uba. He's even got, like, his club, man. He looks pretty cool. So we have all of our brothers now. We also have our companions. And we are ready to start raiding the Romans and going to war to avenge our father. So we got Ivar the Boneless. We have Bjorn Ironside with his two-handed axe that cost us, like, 2,000 dinars. But it's definitely worth it because that's what he's best at. And we got Uba. We have Vitzirk, we have Sigurd, and we also have Hafton. So Hafton is a companion, as well as Bjorn is our half-brother. So Bjorn, Ironside, and Hafton are both around their 30s or 40s, so they're way older than us. And Vitzirk and Sigurd are completely useless in a fight at the moment. But we'll have to level them up and slowly get them better and better. Oh, look at this. A courier with a marriage offer for Vitzirk from Bulat has arrived. Look at that. Vitzirk, he's getting married. Look at this. Oh, my boy. Oh, she's so tidy, too. So she is a Mongolian. And she's like half his size. What the heck, man? <laughs> oh, that's so funny. So our clan is getting married to a Mongol clan. That is awesome to see, man. Look at us. Oh, we're right here, too. All of our family. So now we're friends with this powerful man right here. And now we can call upon the Mongolians in the future if we wanted to. Oh, he's their leader. He's actually the ruler of the Kuzites. That is crazy. He should be at war with us, I thought. Yeah, we're at war with them, but they still married us. That's crazy. So I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of Life of a Viking. And if you guys want to see more of Ivar the Boneless, make sure to subscribe and share this to everyone you know. So I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, Sparns. Look at all these naked men. <laughs> There's so many naked Batanians and tribesmen coming to fight us. But look at us. They're falling for the bait. They're charging straight into the pig pens. Charge, my men. Infantry charge. Berserkers, get in there, boys. But come on, boys. We must survive. Survive in the pig pens.